So as we know by now, the world is kind of moving more and more towards online. It's like, you know, whether you want to become a content creator, a seller, an educator, or maybe make an app-based business. Well, to do that, having an app not only makes your business look more professional, but it'll also attract more people because, well, let's be honest, everyone has a phone nowadays. But of course, on the flip side, if you go outside and you go up to 100 people and ask them, hey, how do you make an app? They won't know. And that's exactly where Good Barber comes in. Speaking of barber, I need a haircut. <laughs> Good Barber is basically an app building website that makes building an app super easy to do. How easy is it? You click and type. <laughs> that, that's literally it. <laughs> it even has a ton of great looking templates that are pre-made ready for you to customize to exactly how you like, whether you're going into content creation, e-commerce, online courses, and a whole lot more. Now here's the awesome part. All you gotta do is just pick the one that matches what kind of vibe you're going for. Like what do you want your app to look like? Once you did that, you're pretty much halfway done. It will then ask you to pick a theme and you also get a preview of how that theme looks like over here on the right hand side. Keep in mind, these are just the pre-made themes. You can always change the way it looks to how you like. Personally, I'll select this theme just as an example. The next step is to pick which navigation style you want your app to use. See, like I said, Good Barber does the heavy lifting for you. You don't even have to think about it. It just automatically recommends like, oh, hey, do you like this or this? <laughs> so I'll go ahead and choose this style here because eh, I feel like it's already kind of similar to most of the popular apps. And again, remember, the preview is always going to be on the right and you can even interact with the preview to see your navigation style in action before you press next. Once you're satisfied with your style, click on next and here's where you can name your app. And yes, as you can see, you will later have an option for Good Barber to publish your app over the web to the App Store as well as the Google Play Store. Store. But for now, as an example, I'll go ahead and name my app Mark's Tech Store just as an example. Then press create my app and from here you can see your app in full action with clickable navigation all throughout your app so you can see exactly what each menu looks like. I just did all that without inputting a single piece of code. Like I don't even know how to code so I could even do it if I wanted to. But if you know how to code by the way, you can actually code on the Good Barber website just to kind of tinker, tinker around and kind of do what you want to do like specifically. So what you're seeing now is the main page of the editing tool. On the right side, you can see widgets that let you change the app style, the structure, the icon settings, the launch screen of your app, as well as the theme library. My theme across my channel is, you know, it has a little bit of blue in it. So I'm going to try to find a theme that has blue in it. All I have to do is click on app style, then click on colors. There are pre-made themes, or you can of course choose your own colors exactly how you like them to be. To save some time, I'll go ahead and select a pre-made theme that already has some nice blue to it. Using the preview, I can see exactly what changed. And from there, I can customize it further or leave it as it is. Another cool feature is while you're in app styles, you can also have your app contain haptic feedback as well as some cool scroll effects to really make your app stand out compared to those apps that have, well, none of those features. Let's be honest, using an app with pretty scroll mechanics and haptic feedback, it's, it just hits the spot. And if you're now ready to change the text on your app, but yeah, that's super simple as well. Let's say I want to change the header under Mark's text store. All you got to do is click on structure, then click on header. From there, you could customize the size of the header, or if you wanted to have a description, you can choose the large header. Then just scroll down and you can see the text box for you to customize. And once you've finished customizing it, press OK and see your app update in real time. You can customize any little detail, any text, any piece of color. You can even add a link. I mean, you can literally do anything. So as you can tell, this is just as easy as taking maybe an hour out of your day just to kind of play around with the website, you know, see what it offers. Don't be afraid to click and change settings around because that's kind of how you learn. Best of all, they do offer a 30 day free trial. No questions asked, no credit card required on file. I believe all you need is your email and that's it. You just go on goodbarber.com and start building your app, literally. Like you can do that right now without a credit card, debit card, 
anything. Now, of course, at any time, you can also click on the preview button on the upper right to see how your app is going to look like if a person uses it on a particular phone or laptop as well as desktop. And if you want to get ahead of the game and incorporate AI into your app, well, you can do that by using these extensions as well as an extension to monetize your app in a form of memberships. Now again, if you're like a content creator, this is going to be kind of amazing for you because you can maybe set up a membership for your app and then those that subscribe to your membership will get like early access to maybe some uh, maybe some like deals going on or maybe you can release a video to them a day earlier compared to your other subscribers. I mean, there's a lot you can do with by, you know, by, by uh, monetizing your app. Now, once you're done with your app, you can click on publish and choose which store you want to publish to. Good Barber will automatically let you know if you've missed some items that you first need to do prior to the app going live, such as the app icon. See, that's what I love. You can't just you, like you can't mess up. It's almost impossible to mess up. If you didn't do something, Good Barber will let you know and also kind of walk you through what you need to do before your app goes live. Now, once you're done, and I mean completely done, you can upload the app yourself, but you're, you're, you're going to have to do a little bit of the heavy work. Or if you want, you can have Good Barber do all of the heavy lifting for you. I really like this style of app building because of how intuitive it is. Like you don't really need to think like, oh, how, how do I do this? Because it's all kind of, well, intuitive. For example, no matter what section you're on, if you ever want to customize it, click edit. And when you hover your mouse over a particular section, you can see that on the preview of what you'll be editing. Like, that's amazing. You don't need to think about like, if I click here, am I going to be editing this or am I going to be editing this? Because if you hover your mouse over it, the section lights up, letting you know, like you're going to be editing that section. Finally, us coders have a tool that we can make an app to entertain people, to better someone's lives to give someone feedback advice life advice affiliate marketing education i mean the, the list goes on and on so if you guys do want to try good barber again it's absolutely free you just go to goodbarber.com and just start even if like you're just curious why not try it out it's free i mean <laughs> like, why not and again no credit card required you don't need to do anything you just go on their website so again yeah if you guys do want to check that out i'll have a link down below in the video description that'll take you straight over there so what else do you guys want to know about good barber let me know down below in the comments and i'll try to answer as many of you as i can if you guys did enjoy today's video definitely click that like button it's absolutely free to you by the way but it helps me out a lot and if you're new here, consider subscribing. As always, this was Mark from MarkStack. Adios.